Hello and welcome to a new series of video about control engineering. There was already a series of video about controls, right? However, this time we are going to talk about a different kind of control systems. This time we are going to talk about so-called closed loop control systems. Last series of video was about open loop control systems or control system without feedback. Now we're talking about control systems with feedback. In German, we even have two different terms for those two things. Yeah? Controls without feedback is Steuerung yeah? and controls with feedback is Regelung. Yeah? So we are talking about control engineering here. Yeah? First I want to tell you what is behind this term Control engineering. Yeah. So, uh, well, it's about controlling, right? <laughs> it's about controlling, and we want we need to have something what we can control. Yeah. So there must be somewhere. A system which is con controlled and the appropriate name for such system is control system. So this is a control system. Okay? In the system something is produced, there is something, something is happening there. Yeah? So maybe it's just it's a heating, maybe it's just an uh, 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 speed control, something like this. Yeah? The control system, usually there is something going in. Yeah? This whatever is going in there is somehow altered there and there is the result. Yeah? This result here. Yeah? This is the thing we are going to talk about. Yeah? This is the value x. Yeah? This is called controlled variable. Yeah? controlled variable. This is the thing I want to keep within a certain value yeah, or range or whatever. This is the thing I want to influence with my controller. Yeah? So since this is the thing I want to influence, I measure this thing yeah, and I compare it. Yeah? There's some comparison point with something with a desired value, okay? So this is coming from somewhere. This is the wanted value, yeah, W, yeah, or also called reference value. Or reference variable. Führungsgröße in German. Yeah? Regelgröße, Führungsgröße, Control Variable, Reference Variable. What is actually done is we are, this is added, this is subtracted, we're building the difference between the reference value and the current value of the controlled variable. Yeah? This difference is the result of this comparison. Yeah? This is usually called XD, yeah? and it's the controller difference. This XD is W minus X. Yeah? Simply the difference between those two. This controller difference now is showing the current error I have, yeah? the current failure, yeah? the current difference, deviation, yeah? also called sometimes deviation. Well, there is then the controller. Yeah? This is handled now by the controller or sometimes also called regulator. Yeah? So this is the controller or regulator. This is reacting on the controller difference, on the controller deviation. 
And the result of this reaction is yet another variable. And this result is influencing something within the control system. Yeah. This here is called y usually, and this is called the correcting variable. Correcting variable y. So how is this thing now working? We have some controlled variable. This has a current value. Yeah? This is compared with a reference value. The controller deviation or controller difference is then handled by a controller which is forming due some ever law, due some ever rules, yeah? whatever those rules are, we will talk about this. A correcting variable. This correcting variable is influencing the control system, causing the control system to produce an other updated controlled variable yeah, value. This updated value is compared with the reference value. This will update the control deviation. The control deviation will then be handled by the controller and also the correcting variable will be updated. And this will update the variable, will update the control variable, and this will and so on and so on and so on. And so on. So actually the signal here yeah, is coming from here, yeah, going down to here, and from here up to here again. This is the signal flow. This is the signal flow and this is why we call this also control loop. Because it's a loop actually. Control loop. Pa, pa, pa. Always in circles. This reference variable here, this is something the controller cannot change. Also, the control system cannot really be changed by the controller. It can just be influenced. Yeah? So, actually, what is the task of control engineering is to produce a controller which can handle the control system in a way that this control variable is following the reference variable as it should. Okay. So, usually this is given. Yeah? This is given from somewhere outside. For instance, room temperature in during daytime we want to have 22 degrees Celsius. During night we want to lower the temperature that we can sleep better at 18 degrees Celsius. So this is simply given from outside. And the controller, heating controller, has to somehow our control system is then the house or our flat or wherever you are living, yeah, and has to somehow influence it. Yeah? by turning on or off the heater or the air conditioning or whatever. Yeah. Higher, lower, yeah, with the correcting variable. So this is given from, from outside, cannot be controlled, or cannot be influenced by the controller. It would be though so easy. Yeah. It would be really so easy. However, there are always disturbances. Yeah. So there are disturbances which might influence the control system. There are disturbances which, which might influence the regulator, the controller. Can be a bunch of these are disturbance. The burst disturbance signals. For instance, if we think about the flat or house, the outside temperature would be a disturbance, sickness, a disturbance signal. If it's getting cold outside, to maintain a smooth temperature inside, we have to start the heating. Yeah? Disturbance. Yeah? These are usually labeled with Z. Yeah? So this is, this is here, Z. And since it's on the system, it's usually called ZS1, ZS2, ZS3. Yeah, up and there can be many ZSN. Okay. And also here, disturbance on the controller, 
uh, we call it ZR for regulator 1, ZR2, ZR3 and there also can be many up to ZRM. Okay. That's control engineering. Yeah? Find a suitable controller for a control system to keep the controlled variable within criteria which needs to be defined also. Yeah? Is it really necessary to, to control the room temperature at 0 0.01 degree or is a half degree enough? Something like this. How good is good? Yeah. yeah. We'll talk about this. Yeah. Since those control systems, they are widely used, really widely. Next video we are going to talk about where they are used. Yeah. We see there is a huge range of applications. First we are going to talk where they are used, then we are talking about the naming and so on, and then we are starting to develop a system how we can select a controller, suitable controller for us. What techniques are there? What steps has to be fulfilled? This is then in the next videos. What is stability and so on? We will see. We will see this, we will learn this. Uh, for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.